Good afternoon, Jason here, Birchfield Family Farm, Oxford, Ohio. We have a gorgeous spring day today. This is what we've been waiting for. Low 70s, a little bit breezy. Beautiful, beautiful day out here today. Have a good word for you today. This is from Proverbs 20, verse 8. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Okay, so out here in the pasture today, looking out here, and apologize for the sound quality, wind is really whipping today. But you can see, see how we've got the waves waves in the grass. This is what I'm looking for every year. Today is really that first day where I'm seeing that. Very apparent looking out there over the, the grass, the waves, the rain and the wind. And this is telling me that we're good to go. We're good to start our paddock rotation. So it's been a, a challenging winter out here this year, uh, mainly for the fact that uh, I feel like our hay season was longer this year. Uh, I feel like we were at least a month longer. You know, we went through more hay. Uh, they say plan on 120 day hay season. And I feel like we were, you know, at least, at least 150 days, if not longer. So, um, you know, that always makes for a long winter. Uh, today, uh, I want to get these guys moved, uh, at least the, uh, the cattle. You can see we've carved out an area already here uh, with a few of our sheep, the rams, and a few of the, the uh, <clears throat> first year uh, mamas uh, that haven't, haven't lambed yet. We're, we've got them together and we're carving out an area here to pasture crop sweet corn. Uh, We'll do a video on that. That's gone really well for us the past few years. Um, you know, basically just planting sweet corn straight into a section of the the pasture in the paddocks. And um, you know, right now we have so much grass that it's in excess, and we're we're able to, you know, afford to have some areas carved out for other things. Um, but then as we move into harvest time for that sweet corn, about 75 days, we'll be into uh late july early august probably sometime in august now uh, that's when it gets really dry and so the really neat thing is we harvest the corn for us it's delicious and then that buys us an extra day or two when we open that up uh, for the animals and they eat that i mean corn is a giant grass uh, they eat that down it's like ice cream uh, for them so that that growth comes on right at a time of year that uh, we we really need it during that dry season so uh, we're gonna we're gonna mess around with a little bit of that we'll do a more in-depth video on that um, at a later time but uh want to want to get these cattle moved and get paddock number one off to a good start here okay gonna open up our valve to the pasture okay we got our our water here we've got a white hose run to our riser. Okay. Here we go. We got water. This uh, hose was a little long. I guess I could always cut it, uh, but I, I definitely, I wanted a white hose. I want to keep this water cool. We got that buried line. Ah, yes, it is. Nice and cool. Awesome. It looks like our water water system is going to work out. This will be paddock for paddock one. Keep this on the line. You know, another change we did. I noticed they rub an awful lot on this front. The front of this wood. You can see how. I mean, they've actually sanded this thing. But what I did was I uh, hooked up this wire, left it insulated, stripped the insulation back here. And what we'll do is we'll take a clip clip to this wire and then we'll clip that to our fence and, and we'll make this hot and so that should keep them off of the end they did flip this thing uh, a couple times last year 
I don't know. I I don't want to give them the impression, though, that I don't want them scared to drink out of this thing, obviously. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But I think, you know, they, they got plenty of room to come to either side here without scratching on this front. So we'll see. My goodness. Is that a beautiful view or what? Yeah, sometimes I just gotta stop. I just gotta stop and take it in. We are so blessed here. Okay. Taking a look at these guys, they are just plumb worn out on this hay, won't hardly eat it anymore. We have got to get them off here. All right, all right, come on, come on, boys, come on, come on, here they come, come on now. back there she doesn't she doesn't know what's going on she's never been through a rotation come on lp teach her the ropes am come on i did feed them hay filled them up with hay on purpose before we go out on green grass here we'll still have to put some hay out we don't want to get into bloat and all that kind of stuff so we'll continue to put out a little bit of hay she's still laying out there <sighs> always got to be one there she comes. Come on, Elle. Good gravy. Just mowing machines. Look at you guys go. What a gift from God rumen and animals are. Converting what we cannot eat into what we can. High source of protein. Such a gift. All right, you guys, let's go. Paddock one, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. All right, first cattle drive of the season. Let's go, guys. I know it's tasty. Keep going. Don't even think about it, Peter. All right, stopping for a chow here. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. away. Lead him home, ma'am. Come on, big. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, Patty. Yeah. LP, you gotta learn the ropes, honey. There we go. Oh, all right. So we're chowing down here. Let's take a look at this pasture, what we got. Ah, oh, we're awfully splotchy out here. I mean, you can see how low this is, and you come right over here and see how high some of this is. You know, it's, uh, and then you've got stuff going to seed already, you know? So, I don't know, it's been a kind of a weird season. It feels like it hasn't really taken off yet. I mean, we got some good grass and spots, but that tall stuff, is that just where the old manure paths were last year that they didn't eat? I don't know. I don't know. We could probably have held off, but those seed heads coming on, I 
think we'll get a few days out of this anyway. We'll see how it goes here. So on a rotational grazing system uh, like this one, you know, we're, we're doing 10 paddocks this year, um, you know, two to three days um, on each one. Uh, we'll, we'll see uh, kind of how things go here. I think we can go variable speed. There's no reason we need to stay the same amount of days throughout the season. I was thinking about that. We can vary, which I think would help us out. But, you know, I was thinking through, you know, how to make this on now four five close to five acres now i guess how, how to make this even more productive now if you watched any of our other videos one at the end of the year you, you saw we were almost two times uh the productivity rotating these animals as if uh well as compared to if we would have just turned them out for the season so almost double um the productivity on the ground i was thinking this could be even increased even further you know, we're starting on paddock one here and you know if they were bigger paddocks we could we could look at making hay on paddocks that weren't being used when you when you've got this time of year where the grass is coming on so quickly um, you can start with the end of your rotation so we would be back that way you know start with in our case start with paddock 10 and mow that down and make your hay. In our case, you know, these are just quarter acre paddocks, so you're not really gonna make hay uh, with all the machines and stuff. So, you know, what about just mowing? Just mowing and then ensiling that grass and starting at paddock 10. Uh, you know, if you've watched our other video on um, small scale silage, uh, the cattle and the sheep love that stuff. We mix uh, the grass, pack it down, mix a little bit of molasses, a few gallons of molasses in a 60 gallon food grade container, seal it up tight, pack it down, seal it up tight, and you've got your, your winter, part of your winter feed there. So, you know, my idea is, well, let's, let's mow this paddock 10 when the grass is just, we hit that boom phase, right? Because it's gonna do two things. We're gonna be able to put up some winter feed. Not only that, but we don't want that grass in paddock 10 going to seed and, and getting tall and stemmy anyway. So that's gonna, that's gonna keep that grass lower in that, you know, as Joel South says, in that teenage phase of, of growing, which is best for the animals in the ground. Um, plus we're, you know, cutting off the tops and putting away a little, a little feed. So I don't know, that's my idea. If, you know, uh, the other side of the coin is it all takes time. It all takes time and, and effort. So uh, we're incredibly busy here this spring. But uh, hopefully we get a chance to maybe mow down uh, paddock 10, 9. Um, you know, you figure this time of year, if I've got, if I've got two weeks recovery, uh, man, I can, you can do a list grass can do a lot on two weeks uh, coming through the month of May. So anyway, I hope this helps. Maybe give somebody else uh, an idea on, on your rotations. And... Uh, Happy to start the season here, getting these guys going, and uh, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good one. Uh, if you're watching today, uh, God bless you and, and your land. Take care.